Yo, what is up? Good evening. Riot Fest punks. I'm gonna give it a second to start rolling. Uh, I never know if this thing is working or not, but I think it is. I think it's working. Cool. Yeah, oh gosh. It's like way, it's morning for you. It's only like three, four a.m. for European friends. Um. Yeah, absolutely uh, excited and honored and privileged to be on the Riot Fest um, Facebook page. Thanks for letting me occupy the space and the time. Appreciate it greatly. Feel good about it. Um, before we do anything, I do want to give my love and... Um, I want to send positivity and, and uh, 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 energy to the people that are in the streets right now. I know that we um, currently right now there's a, um, a Pittsburgh protest that's going on this evening. Um, wish that um, uh, I hope that it's going well and everybody is being safe and kind to one another, but also staying vigilant and keeping their eyes on the prize and uh, you know this movement that is unfolding in front of us right now is so powerful it's 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 uh, officially um, the largest protest movement uh, uh, in American history which is incredible and um, yeah I just have really loved seeing how many young people are in the streets um, how many people are, are activating for the first time. And um, it feels very akin to 2003 and the anti-war movement that was happening and, and people who um, were getting turned on to politics because of the dire straits of war that was in front of them. And, and uh, um, I think that this moment is no, is no uh, different where people are seeing and coming in contact with racism um, that's always, you know, been in the fabric of the country we live in, but, but you know, now is so prevalent, um, and the dog whistles are, are screams from um, the folks in power right now. So it is nice to uh, see people fighting back and, and having empathy for one another. So um, I'm going to play a song um, for any of you who have been a part of the protest movement or if you're interested in being a part of the protest movement uh, uh, I will tell you that it is a great time um, it is it is uh, obviously very serious and very heavy stuff when we're talking about um, uh, police in America that that murder someone every two days um, obviously that's that's a heavy weight to carry and, and but the actual activity of protest there is a, a tremendous amount of camaraderie in it. Um, there's a tremendous amount of, uh, uh, of uh, optimism that you get from being around these people that frankly just give a fuck about more than just themselves. And there's a lot of power in that. So uh, this is a song for you and anyone who is considering being a part of the protest movement. The song's called Don't Let the Bastards Get You Down. Don't let the bastards get you down. Don't run for cover when you hear that sound. Oh, no, don't let the bastards get you down Screaming back at home on a crash cell phone There's no one to hear you when they just don't want to know No cleaning with the best they left in nowhere town The creature just contains what we put into it now Open up the windows of your box, they're not Open up the prison gates, open up your heart You know no longer sit quiet what you've opened up your eyes Only when the truth is recognized Don't let the bastards get you down
sound Oh, no, don't let the bastards get you down Cool. I always have a hard time trying to read what you are um, writing while this is happening. So I apologize for not acknowledging that. But it just happens so fast and it's distracting whenever you're a guy with guitar who usually plays bass guitar. Um, this was a song that was requested um, via Instagram. Um, so I wanted to play it. It's one that I haven't played in a fucking long time. So when I undoubtedly make a mistake, please don't judge too harshly. Uh, this song's called Without End. Without end I can see Everything in front of me Without end I can be As free as I want to be It's the same game we all play It's a game that we can't change And there's nothing you can say to shake this sense of our own song's called Without End off of the American Spring album we did in 2015. Does have a very cool Tom Morello guitar solo at that part. So if you have time in your life because you're stuck at home, not doing anything, you can listen to that. Um, this is another song that was requested. The song's called Bring Out Your Dead. I'm also going to talk about this song later when we do bass guitar shit. So... Um, if you are interested in the bass guitar portion of today's live stream, it'll happen after we play a handful of acoustic songs. Um, but yeah, um, this was one of the first songs I wrote when I joined Anti-Flag at the end of 98. Um, so it's interesting that it has any relevancy in 2020, but um, it's, it's a song about the situation that we're in right now where the issues that we face seem so endless and in the face of folks that are are supposedly working in the interest of gaining your vote um, to see how little they actually care about you and I and um, you know it, it, it's just a kind of a song about the internal struggle 
of knowing that we need to use all forms of harm reduction that are within our means. That includes voting, but um, also coming to terms with the fact that no president, prime minister, pope, CIA kingpin, CEO, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, is going to care about you before they care about profit. And, um, you know, we need to build communities and invest in communities so that we can lift all the boats together. Um, a system that perpetuates success for only a handful of folks is not sustainable, and we're seeing that come to fruition right now. So I'll show bring out your dead. Spend a lifetime working for these people. Another one that I don't usually do, but somebody hit me up about playing it, so I'm gonna do it. Um, the song also is pretty apropos for living in Donald Trump America. Um, the song's called The Criminals and um, goes out to everyone who fights fascism and racism with every single breath that they take. <laughs>
Thanks, y'all. Um, where are we at? Okay, cool. I'm gonna do two more songs on this, and then I'm gonna play bass, and we'll talk about bass guitar shit. Um, this song's called This Is The End, and um, goes out to Riot Fest, because um, when we played this song at Riot Fest last year, I thought that the kind folks in front of the stage were going to crack a hole in the earth. It was one of the most powerful moments I can remember um, playing a show and, 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 you know, for it to be so early and everyone had showed up and had the right energy and the right, the right um, commitment to each other it was a beautiful thing to see. So love to our friends in... Uh, Riot Fest, and um, yeah, I'd love to come play Hate Congress All for you. There's a lot of question mark bands on that festival for uh, next year. Just saying. Uh, cool. Yeah, this song's called This Is The End. Seems every station on the TV is selling something no one could be. Last song I'm gonna play um, 
it's another new song. Uh, we put out a record in January called 2020 Vision. And um, we were fortunate enough to get in all of our headline European tour, but we did not get to play the States. Um, we played one show in Ottawa, and then they sent us packing. So um, I'm really looking forward to a time when we can all be in the same room together or same field together. Um, but um, yeah, we'd love to play some of these songs in the U.S. as a full band with with real people. Um, but yeah, this song's called Un-American. And again, I just want to give endless strength and love and solidarity to those who are fighting police violence, police murder, police brutality in America uh, and around the world. Um, these, this is a moment in and in a time in history that people will ask which side you were on when it was coming down. And um, I, I'm honored and humbled to be a part of a punk rock scene and a community that stands staunchly against racism and sexism, homophobia, transphobia, Islamophobia, xenophobia, bigotry of any and all kind. Um, and so this is a song about the many ways that we encounter injustice like this in our lives. Um, and what it means to be a person who lives in the United States and sees um, sees this injustice unfold in front of you on a daily basis. Sounds called Un-American. Bottom floor of a cold building Promised a career and a diamond ring Glass ceiling above with nothing under her feet Honey, just give me a smile How hard could that be? Life at 26 ain't what she thought it would be Now she's waking up from an American dream No rain falls to a spoiled land Who is un-American, un-American No peace comes from a greedy head Who is un-American, un-American Another line sold on another campaign The church is decayed by his grandparents' grave A town exchanged for the money they saved Life at 36 ain't what he thought it would be Now he's waking up from an American dream No rain falls to a spoiled land Who's an American? Marching drums Always life that taught them how to run Saying I can't breathe The jury was the gun Cause they come
cause trouble everywhere. But when you die and you go to heaven, you will find no policemen there. Cool, thanks y'all. So, just a question. Um, would you rather we talk about bass guitar stuff uh, and I play to the actual song in the background, or do you want to hear just the bass and we can talk about the riff and break it down? I never know what to do in these situations. So, um, I'm open to any and all suggestions. I find sometimes playing along with the track is um, cool too. Um, maybe a little bit easier to understand what's going on. So I'm down to do that. Oh, just the bass would be cool. Okay, that's two votes for just the bass. That's what we're gonna do. All right, cool. Um, this is the bass. And it's just the bass. <laughs> You hear everything yeah um okay cool so we're going just the bass um that's fine uh i have a handful of songs one of which was requested so i guess we'll start with that um a few of them were ones that i've like done on my instagram but we can do that too um so the first one is this is the new sound um which is off of the general strike record and it's a song we haven't played in a really long time, so I actually had to listen to it this afternoon to, to remember what's going on. Um, but I guess I'll just play the parts and the sections, and then um, I'm crossing my fingers that Riot Fest will save this video, and um, then you can just come back and watch the parts. Um, but if anybody has any um, songs that they would like to hear please write it in there. But, um, so yeah, just gonna start with this is the new sound. Um, and the other ones on my list are Bring Out Your Dead, Turncoat, and Press Corpse. So if any of those are what you want, just be patient. Um, okay, cool. So, um, this song is interestingly enough in F sharp, which is weird, but we, we tune a half step down. Um, so it's in F, um, if you're playing in standard E tuning, but we tune half step down. So, uh, starts up here in the high, uh, F. It's just this, like, um... Um, cool, yeah. Uh, and then the other thing about just like when I play, um, and it's pretty crucial to the sound. A lot of people have questions about my tone and what's going on and what I have in my chain. And I really don't have that much. Like right now, it's just straight. Um, uh, it's my dark glass head straight. Um, no, no, nothing. But part of the trick is where I play. Like I rest my hand on the bridge and play pretty close to the bridge, which is like a higher, higher register of the string. So like, it's just, it's just, See how much brighter it is? So that's part of part of why it um, kind of pops in mixes because it's just in it's just a higher uh, frequency. Um, so yeah, then the next part of uh, new sound uh, is just these kind of like bouncy bits. Then I just play the same 
thing, but in its lower register as the verses. So that is all the parts in that song. Um, uh, cool. Pretty simple. Kind of the same thing, same arrangement through the whole thing. Um, otherwise. Um, we'll do Bring Out Your Dead next for those who are curious about this uh, song. Um, it, I'm not 100% like... I haven't listened to the record in a really long time, so I only know what I play live. Um, uh, and it's funny because Angry Young and Poor and Bring Out Your Dead have the same uh, box that they live in. I, I call it the box. I've always called it the box as well. It's where I've always played. And... Um, um, so sometimes I get the two lines confused and, and play them. <laughs> I trade them in songs. And I even have like a little bass solo that I do live, but I do it on both songs. So, um, but from what I can remember from Bring Out Your Dead, uh, it's the it's the added fifth box. So it's... Verse, spend a lot of time working for these, and then it just cut it out. Chorus. And right there, I was going to go play Angry Young and Poor. Which is... So yeah, even in my brain, I confused them. Um, but that's what happens when you write the same song over and over again. Um, so yeah, the the um, interesting thing about that chorus is I follow the drums pretty heavily. Um, so it's the, they were arrested for the blues. It was a protest as they screwed. And that's that. Rap it down that Pat plays. And then the second chorus, I play through that whole thing. It's just a scale, run up scale. Um, then the only other part of that song that's pretty interesting um, is the outro. So it comes out of the core, uh, out of the bridge, um, which is, I'm just playing the root notes, same thing that the guitars are playing. Um, I won't remain, won't remain silent. I won't remain, won't remain silent. Bring out your dead. So that part is just like this little, again, it's the box, but. It's so funny deconstructing these like this because I don't even know what I'm playing. I just kind of play it. Um, 
But yeah, so that that's that outro. Um. Cool. Um, so somebody say the press corpse. So we can do that. Um, also, that's Judy barking. Something must be here. I don't know. Somebody's knocking on the door, maybe. They shouldn't. Stay the fuck away. I don't want their COVID. Um, so press corpse also in um, what we call anti-flag standard tuning, which is just a half step down. Um, starts on the second fret. Starts in B. Um, starts with the box. You will find I just recycled the same trick over and over again. But it's this... Which is the same thing. Somebody said this is the end. It's the same thing. I love the box. But anyways, Press Corps is... The memo says we gotta work to make the fast with the false charges. couple things in there um justin uses this move a lot and he likes it when we all kind of emphasize on it um where there's like a slide on a snare drum hit so i do that in the verses um so i try to drag that with that snare drum uh pat does like a flamp but it's so it's like just slide down um and then that thing thing happens again in the chorus which the chorus is they don't want to talk 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 about it but a tiptoe same slide thing uh, they don't want to talk 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 about it but a tiptoe walk upon it So those are the parts to that song. Um, that pre-chorus is... Sometimes I get that slide in there. And I want to... Cool. Um... Oh, what width of pick? Uh, I use a really light pick. So this is a 0.60. Um, it's um, the red in uh, Ernie Ball uh, Dunlop picks. Um, but, um, yeah, so I use a super light pick, and I use the lightest gauge strings. Um so sometimes I use extra light, but for the most part, I'm just using lights um, in Ernie Ball Slinkies. Um, uh, but yeah, so like, I think that, um, again, most of what I'm doing is, you know, these 8th and 16th notes. So I'm trying to pick as fast as I can, you know. Um, and I've talked about this a couple times, but like, when I was first starting, I would take a guitar pick with me everywhere and just on the seam of my pants, like just pick up and down until my picking hand got, uh, got better. Um, so hate conquers all is a pretty interesting line. Um, this guitar's tuned has stepped down. Hate conquers all is actually an E. So if you want to play along to it, um, you'll either have to tune down or, um, you know, just watch this, but, um, so it all bases around 
uh, being an E. Uh, see if I can remember it. Okay, cool. Um, sorry, I haven't played it in a while. Um, but yeah, so so it just keeps coming back to this. I'm trying to move to a place where you can see my hands. Um, just comes back to this E octave is the root. Um, so it's just, hey, come dissolve in the ashes of the fall. With our backs against the wall, with our backs against the wall. Watch the empire fall, watch the nation dissolve. With our backs against the wall, with our backs against the wall. Um, this is what I'm playing on the intro when the guitars are playing that riff. I'm playing this uh, high E octave. And then the verses. are all the parts to that it's pretty much um the same riff the whole way through no warning i have no fucking clue what key that song is in or anything um cool um last one i'll do that's pretty simple is turncoat um someone had requested that so um pretty much in turncoat i don't do anything special really um until the end um it's relatively chill for the most part. I do do like some bouncy bits over the um, call and response verse. So um, once again, this is an anti flex standard tuning, so half step down. Um, don't go get a thief, criminal with, and then I come. Same trick again as is um, cool yeah so that intro is just like using grace notes to get from root note to root note play this live but it's not on the record um i just play along with justin with your corner seven seven's wrong not to you two 
I didn't, I never liked that bass line. I thought it sounded like all of a sudden in a melodic rock song, uh, a melodic punk song, Seinfeld bass like popped out of the fucking cupboard or whatever. But it's just, uh, Turco, killer, liar, play. I do like that part. Uh, and I guess there's that bass run at the end. So that's pretty much that. Uh, I can play that walk up one more time just so you have it. Uh, so it's a turco. Oh, it's a killer. Actually, I think it's only a half step at the end. Um, but a lot of times we go into all of the poison, all of the pain after that, um, which is in um, G. So I play. Just so the two songs kind of marry together. Um, I've taken up a lot of your time. Uh, I'll, somebody wrote Shadow of the Dead. I don't really remember that song too much, but I do remember the intro bass line. Um, so it has this like half step move. And that's just an open A. did a podcast um, because Riot Fest is akin to the lovely Lawrence Arms and Chicago uh, as a whole. Um, I did Brendan Kelly's podcast the other day and he was talking about a Lawrence Arms song where after we toured together in 2003, he kind of like bit the vibe of 911 for Peace. And in this song, subconsciously, I totally ripped off uh, Falcon song with like the first line of the the song but um the Falcon song is sick but I can never remember the titles because the titles are like a fucking paragraph but um Then there's like a whole All I can remember was like writing 
because I wanted the because that record has like a whole string section that plays along with that part and uh, just trying to write out the string parts so that they were following what the bass was doing and um, thankfully we had a genius of a producer his name's Tony Visconti um, and he can write music uh, very well much better than I can um, and so thankfully he was there to write it all out but um, but yeah. Uh, if nobody else has anything um, that they're desperately in need of explaining whenever it comes to bass guitar, I'm going to call this shit a fucking rap. The Bright Lights of America from Chile. Yeah, I do remember Woodstock, Poland. I really want to come back. So if everybody who's from Poland who sees this can write to Woodstock... Um, play your favorite song um okay cool yeah so that's what i'll end with i love that idea that's very cool of you to say um so my favorite song is probably project for new american century off of for blood and empire um it's got a very similar box thing but i just really like the way it came together um, so it begins with this, it's a gun check. translate really well but it like the way it goes down and then opens up is always my, one of my favorite things that we did um so this is like the verse a section um I don't know something about that m walking melody the with Justin's vocal line it, it's just one of my favorite bass lines because of that but it's like the chorus is appreciate you um i hope everybody is smart and recognizes the simplicity in wearing a mask and being kind to your neighbor um we are at a incredible moment in time where apathy is winning over empathy where cynicism is winning over optimism and something as simple as being kind um, and thinking about more than just yourself is an act of resistance. And so um, all I will say is that if it's as great of a leap as us figuring out a way to commit the resources that are aplenty within our society to those that are most vulnerable, to, to members of our communities who, are, who, who have been scapegoated the most, who have been hurt the most. If we can find a way to invest in education and healthcare uh, and lift up people who have been forgotten for far too long, um, that would be amazing. 
but we're also just looking for some Bill and Ted shit, be excellent to each other, wear a mask so you don't kill someone's fucking grandmother. Like, it's that simple. Like, the disparity between what we're asking for is so vast. But all I will say um, is that I've had nothing but tremendously positive and memorable experiences at Riot Fest, so I'm very grateful that they um, allowed me to spend some time with y'all. Um, it's lonely out here, so it's nice to just communicate with some people. Um, but yeah, uh, um, I'll like read through the comments of this later. So if there are songs you want to see, I do like bass tutorials sometimes on my Instagram. So, um, I, I'll, if there's a song I missed or fucked up or whatever, hit me up and I shall do my best to get to it. Um, be good, stay safe, take care of one another, respect one another, and I will see you in the hot Chicago sun, God willing, and the creek don't rise. All right, y'all. Peace.